Hey guys, and over here we're going to take a look at this new change to the Vex Offensive event and see if um, there's any good weapons to use in it, other than the usual. Let's go right in here and dig into those vaults and see what we can find. Anyway, in this new version of Vex Offensive, there's uh, honestly not really much new. The only difference is the boss fight, which in itself does borrow a lot of mechanics from the previous boss fight. But one thing I will tell you is that there are some weapons that I didn't mention in the last video that are actually pretty good. Although some of the weapons I did mention in the previous Vex Offensive video will also apply here, aka if you did, if you missed it, cold heart, and um, honestly, any good grenade launcher with the good old spike nades. And well, I'll throw in a little bonus here: the prospector is a very good one. Anyway, onwards with things I have in mind for this video. First is Aircon is about. It's getting a whole lot of rep in PvP and whatnot, although it is pretty decent in Vex Offensive because it has you know, armor piercing barrier rounds intrinsically, and it does a ton of damage to the guys with the shields. And even then, it does a decent amount of damage to your garden variety hydras and whatnot. I'd say the only worry for this weapon is the fact that ammo. It honestly sometimes it's kinda of hard to find. But if you're killing enough ads in this game mode, you're gonna have an absolute ton of ammo. So if you don't have ammo then you Probably doing something wrong there, but oh well. Anyway, move on. As for some other exotics, like a few that I mentioned in the last video, uh, the good old Wardwolf Coil is pretty good, although I will say you might end up blowing yourself up at, from time to time. Take with a little bit of risk on that. And a few other weapons I'd say that are good, I'd say. Other than the usual metal weapons, it came Izanagi's Burden and etc. But when it comes to other weapons that are not necessarily all that meta, you can take, you know, some stuff from our Sarver's, uh, Sarver's Harbor video, like the good old Bad Juju, which is coming back since good old Recluse is going out of fashion with that big nerf. And then uh, you have the Fourth Horseman, which is very good for taking out those majors and whatnot that spawn every time to time, especially in this new mode. And, well, you'll also... Um, and what I mean for course, I mean the Lord of War, since... Well, it kind of goes hand in hand. Anyway, the other sniper rifles that are good at DPS can take down those majors pretty well, aka I'm looking at you, Darcy, and Whisper of the Worm. Although Whisper is a little bit harder to get, Darcy is a good compromise, it's not the best, but you can get it easily from a random exotic drop or if Zor is selling it. And as for some other exotics, if you have a good melee build that you can chain stuff off of, you can probably even use the Monte Carlo. Uh, and as for some other stuff, uh, go ahead and use Sunshot since it's at clear capability is through the roof, and it's even good for PvP nowadays because of the explosive route. But mostly with Sunshot is the fact that one, it's Firefly, but you don't need to hit a headshot. So you can basically blow up an entire room of enemies just by maybe shooting something, like maybe like a goblin or something. And we have a few other exotics to keep in mind. Some of them are a little bit harder to get than others, obviously, like Whisper of the Worm is hidden in that uh, public event thing, which is timed, as well as Outbreak Prime and whatnot, but I'd say they're still good, and most of the time you'll end up probably seeing people in Vex Offensive running around with the usual recluse, Izanagi, or Mountaintop, which is fine. It's good. It's the meta, and well, just to shake it up, go ahead and use these other weapons. They're pretty fun to use, and I'd say it's good to spice it up a little instead of using the same old things. Especially since Recluse is going to get a nerf, so look out for these other weapons, see if you might want to replace it on your loadout. Anyway, there's also a bunch of legendaries that are good, like 
good old Randy's throwing half here, and obviously Recluse, which is getting nerfed, but while the update hasn't struck yet, you can still use it, and it's still pretty effective until the nerf. And even then, after the nerf, it's still a decent weapon. It's not going to be as dominating as it was, but it's still going to be pretty widely used, and I know that. And, um, Anyway, a few other kind of small things for this, uh, which actually relate to armor, is, well, anything with oppressive darkness mod on it is good. I'd say Orpheus Rig is obviously good for hunters, transverses steps and whatnot, since all the bosses kind of stick around for a long time and don't have that many immune phases except for the final boss, and even then, the DPS phase is long enough for you to do stuff with. So overall, it's pretty much cut and dry when it comes to you. comes to here. And over, overall, there's a few other small weapons that I want to list off in a rapid fire fashion here. Okay, good old Merciless Telesto, they're also pretty good. The uh, the good old Toaster Gun, the, the Jotun is also pretty good. I'd say go ahead and check them out. Bring them out of your vault or even get them for your first time. See you guys later.